Hi guys, my name is Kelsey from the Soria Girls and today I'm going to teach you how to properly use an impact driver and drill. Let's start with the difference between a drill and an impact driver. A standard drill uses its chuck to hold its bits in place, which means that you can use it with standard, which are rounded drill bits or hex shank drill bits. The standard drill also has high and low speed buttons and uses a clutch to adjust the torque level, which is the speed of which the drill bit spins. Other parts of the drill include the trigger, the forward and reverse switch, and a battery, unless yours is cord operated. The impact driver has a hex chuck, which requires impact rated hex bits versus the standard drill bits. The hex chuck is going to be stronger than your standard chuck. The impact driver has more torque and a variable speed trigger. This means that the harder you squeeze, the faster the motor spins, as opposed to the low and high speed buttons on the standard drill. A cool thing about the impact driver is that it utilizes quick bursts of power when it encounters resistance within your material. Other parts of the impact driver include the forward and reverse switch. The standard drill is versatile, a little bit less expensive, and accepts a wide variety of drill bits. It's great for precise holes and everyday tasks around the home. The impact driver is best for jobs where the size or placement of the hole is not priority, but you do need more torque. You might need more torque if you are drilling into dense or knotty wood, or if you're trying to remove rusty nuts and bolts. Before we get started, let's go over some very quick safety tips. Make sure that your bit is always properly seated in your chuck before drilling. Make sure you're not drilling or driving into a wall where there might be electrical or wiring, and always protect your eyes, ears, and lungs. And just a note before we get started, you can use either the standard drill or the impact driver to drill holes or drive screws. But today, I'm going to be using your standard drill for drilling holes and the impact driver for driving screws. Now that we're ready, here's how to use a drill. Add the battery to the bottom of the drill and click it into place. Loosen the chuck by spinning it counterclockwise and insert your bit of choice. Tighten the chuck by spinning it clockwise. I'm adjusting my torque to drill since I am drilling holes today. Next, place your bit onto your material and press the trigger. Always start with a low speed and gradually speed up. Ideally, you would stay at a 90 degree angle unless your project calls for a different angle. That was easy, we got it. Now we're ready to add a screw. When using screws in wood, you usually want to pre-drill. Pre-drill means creating a hole before you insert your screw to prevent cracking in your wood. This pilot hole diameter needs to match or be a hair larger than your screw's shank. Now it's time to use our impact driver. Add the battery into the bottom of the driver and click it into place. Insert your hex bit of choice into the quick release chuck. Some drivers may require you to pull the chuck forward in order to insert or remove your bit. Make sure the direction of your rotation selector is in the correct position, whether you're driving in a screw or removing one. Hold the impact driver in one hand, place the bit on the screw head and slowly push the trigger. Always be as perpendicular to your screw head or the hole location for the best and safest results. Start slowly for more control. Short trigger bursts are more ideal than a strong constant grip. Once the screw head is slightly deeper than the material, stop driving. And one final tip, make sure that you get new bits regularly because a dull bit will lead to a stripping screw. Mm -mm. And there you guys have it. That's how you use a drill and an impact driver. You're set and ready to go. If you need some projects that use a drill or an impact driver, we have those linked for you down below and make sure you guys are subscribed so you don't miss more how-to demos or more DIY projects. I'll see you next time. Bye. I need to, is this a car thing? If I knew about cars, would I know about this? Try to make a driving joke. What's that movie? Baby Driver? Baby Driver. Drive. This ain't no baby driver. I really love that we're doing close-ups on my hands. <laughs> Your hand. This is where I need a hand model.